Uh, but yeah, I'm on the test server at the moment because there was an update recently, and I don't know if I can see the patch notes on here. But some stuff that they've changed. They've changed a lot of pets. I know Meerkat's one of them. So yeah, on here now, it's start a battle, give adjacent friends plus one attack for every three gold spent that turn. So I could see it being interesting, but it's no longer permanent scaling. But at least you do get kind of guaranteed value out of it, because you're going to spend at least nine gold. Don't forget the Discord mention. I've already typed it out. You know what? There we go. <laughs> I almost did though, so thank you. New master, hello. And goodbye, I guess. Alright. Fine able to catch your weekday stream since I don't have to wake up early tomorrow. Oh. Make out rooster. There is some synergy. The sad thing is, I still don't think it's very good because it has terrible stats by itself. Because, like, the weasel got buffed. Now that's a 4 4. I think it might literally be my. Like, it's not overpowered or anything, but it might be my favorite tier 2 in this pack now because. I don't know. There's some really solid stats and gaining gold is really nice. Uh, Flying Fish has been nerfed. It now. <laughs> it gives plus 2 experience instead of 1 experience and 1 attack, but it has limited triggers. And, yeah, honestly, the level-up ability is even weirder, because it doesn't trigger more times, it just gives more experience. Like, like the level 3 ability is actually pointless. Because <laughs> what is... Giving 6 experience means nothing. The most experience you can give something is 5, so after the, you know, the 5th experience, you're just giving plus 1-1 one, one in stats. Yeah, Civil, hello. Raku, hello. Does it now give plus two, plus two? I assume so, yeah. In this pack, I think it is basically only stats, because I don't think there are any summons that have abilities. I may be wrong, but I can't see any. Obviously, it would work really well with stuff like Eagle, maybe. Eagle, Whale. Oh, no, there you go. Yeah, you could work with a White Whale. You could actually get XP. <laughs> Some value out of the XP for that, but... Yeah. In general, I think it's kind of, you know... He needed a nerf. I'm glad they did it. He also is a 1-2 now, so significantly worse. The slug has abilities. It does, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it has an ability, so you'd get slightly more stats out of this thing. Because you'd like, level up the second slug, and then that would summon another thing which would also get leveled up, and all good. Uh, what else, though? The most interesting one, I think, is the macaque. Because now that doesn't summon gorillas anymore. It summons orangutans, and they're much bigger. So yeah, still tier 4, still a 1-2, but level 1, summon a 12-12 orangutan with the same food perk, and that scales to 24-24 and then 36-36. There's a handful of other changes, just like little stat increases, like Manta Ray is a little bit bigger, uh, Lizard Tail has a little bit more HP and summons slightly bigger Lizard Tails, or Lizard, you know. You get what I'm saying, I think this has been changed a little bit as well, one extra attack maybe. This is also different, I think, but it may just be the way it's um, written. Macaque <laughs> literally became stronger. I'd say no. I think it's going to be, like, stupidly strong on the early rounds. Because, like, if you get an early macaque, I think that, like, guarantees you a win. Because <laughs> it's, like, insane. But having the gorilla coconut ability can easily, like, you know, double and triple trade. So this is definitely a good change for macaque. And honestly, I really want to try it. I just want to get another team with these two, I think. 36-36 late game feels much better than 24-24. It does, yeah. There's, there's pros and cons. I don't know. I'd have to try it. But that's really it. You get more stats in exchange for not getting the coconuts. I don't know which is, which is better. I'm not sure if there are any other significant changes, but there's a lot of tweaks. I think Bear got buffed a little bit. Yeah, Bear now is, has uh, two extra HP. So, <laughs> very slight buff for Bear. Uh, this is being tweaked as well. You know, it's now 30, 60, 90. I think it was like 20, 40, 60 last time. Hmm. And then I don't know. There may be other changes, but we'll see. This has a bit more attack. Uh, yeah, let's get into a game. I'm going to start a prediction, but leaving it at 6, because I don't know what's going to happen. Volcano gets 6 or more trophies. They should have just moved it up a tier. What, the macaque? Because the gold retriever counts as a summon. Can you try some seagull retriever combo in customs? Uh, I don't know what you would do with that. Like, you could summon a golden retriever and automatically give it a mushroom or something and keep resummoning it. Which could maybe be funny. 
but I don't think it'd be particularly good or anything. We're just gonna jump into here. Wait, let's play some golden pack. Melon on the retriever, maybe. I mean, there's reasons to do it, but I don't care. I don't care enough. <laughs> right, let's send it like this. Save one money. And I'll try and remember to check if my cosmetics and stuff are randomized, because I don't know. Ah, right, so I need to hit like everything again. Turn up the fight speed too, probably. Suppose you can get coconut on it. Not easily, no. Coconut is a lot harder to get on other things, but it is possible with weird, like, leech parrot shenanigans. Milky, hello! Switching it up, yeah. Hold on, I need to change some stuff. Let's make this 150. I don't know if I need to change anything else up here. But then I wanted to go to the menu to see if everything else is randomized. No, it's not. Nothing's randomized. Oh, they don't have the new um, things here. Unless I need to unlock them. Yeah, I think I do. <laughs> I think I just haven't unlocked enough stuff here yet. Let's randomize the entrances as well. You were just streaming Super Mario Pets, got sloth and lost five wins. Ooh. That sounds like my sloth games, but I feel your pain. It is very rough sometimes. Uh, let's go for all of this. I think I'd rather have a bigger magpie. So let's do that and run double goose. Then, I don't know, I can maybe run this at the front. Because like, it's very likely to run into something with like one, maybe two attack. So like, map prize is probably fine. And yeah, unfreeze this again, save the gold. How you doing, Kino? I am... Okay, it's been very cold the last couple of days. Like, I woke up... I actually can't remember what that temperature was this morning, but it was still, you know, sub numbers. Minus three or something. It was minus five yesterday. It is currently zero degrees. So yeah, it's a bit chilly. Not loving it. Any ideas when the mythical pack's coming out? No, I know there's a roadmap thing in the SAP Discord. And I can't remember what it says in terms of progress, but I don't think I don't think it's going to be too soon. Uh anyway, doorhead ants. I think that's a decent pick. Oh yeah, still got nerfed as well. So that's now like two, four, six down from three, six, nine. I think it has slightly more HP, maybe, but yeah, Hercules Beetle's bigger now. It's now at three, four. Hmm. I'm gonna take this. Still, let's take a lizard tail. Why not? If I find another, oh, we're doing this too. Okay. <laughs> and Meerkat, start a battle, give adjacent friends plus one attack for every three gold spent this turn. I still can't tell if it's good. Like, it's, it's a six, plus six attack in the fights. This is kind of like a seven, three by itself. So, worth it for now, but I don't know if it's actually going to be good <laughs> in the future. If the pack will be awesome. I wonder if it's like Centaurs, Monitors, or Scouts. I hope so. Because, like, when I think of mythical creatures, I really don't have... I don't have many. So, yeah. I'm hoping there'll be a big mix of stuff in there. Free solo. I'm okay. Just tired and a bit cold. I'm wearing jogging bottoms and a jumper today instead of just <laughs> t-shirt and shorts. I always wear shorts if I'm inside. Today I'm not because it's cold. What do I get rid of for this? Maybe the... It just doesn't feel good. I don't really need attack on these things. They all have like okay attack at the moment. Uh, I'm just gonna resell this. I'm going to leave this as well because if I can roll for a level up, I'd rather that. That is great. We will wait on that then. Uh, I think I'm going to keep the magpie around for a long time, so I may just buy an apple and then end my turn. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so you're going to be getting some attack. Uh, you're also going to be getting attack. I think I'm okay with this. Let me move that to the back, though. See how that goes. Can't imagine a whole new pack of mystical creatures. I'm wondering how they'd, like, think up enough things for it. Because if they're actually going to add, like, 60 new creatures, they're going to have to, <laughs> to like, reach for it, I think. Oh, Manta Ray. That's what I want. Sort of. I want to have a Manta Ray and, uh, Macaque game. 
So I want to find these two. Right now, I don't know how much this benefits me. Like, we can get rid of Meerkat. Probably get rid of the Goose as well, because we don't really need it. But I'll keep it for now. Probably going to sell it at the end of the turn, though. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, ah! Oh, I'm selling it again. I meant to buy the Magpie. Alright, just save the gold then. Try and recover a little bit. That was a mistake. Getting attack on that door head ant seems good. I mean, it's the best place to put that attack. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't like the way they try to fix um, whatever it's called. The meerkat. Like, I, I liked it when it was a permanent scaler. I just felt like they had it set to a really weird place. Because like, they could have just made it 10 gold. Because then it's barely better than a giraffe in terms of the stats that it gives. But it had like worse stats itself and was random. So, like, I felt like that would have been a fair adjustment. They made it, like, a completely different pet, which I can't tell how good it is yet. If you have Synergy, like, uh, Roosters or something, then could be great. Or if you actually have a money build and it can, like, super buff your stuff, then amazing. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I want any of these things. I want to find, like, level ups. Am I a weasel? We don't have any tier 3s. Uh, you. Okay, I may do this right now, because, again, I'm looking for these two, so I wouldn't mind getting some more of that out here. Sea line. Sell chipmunk, maybe, just so I can buff these. Alright, so that's attack for the things behind. I think I'd rather get more HP on everything. So, I'm going to send it like this. I still want that to be the front line, and this can jump in afterwards. I could shift everything back and let the doorhead ant, like, jump to the front right at the start of battle if I wanted, but... Yeah. Happy with this. Wait, Mikat stats aren't permanent. No, not anymore. Because on the test server, it's now a start of battle ability. So you spend nine, nine gold when it's level one, it will give three attack to adjacent pets. Yes. Obviously, that could turn into a lot more if, you know, you get more than uh, just 10 golds worth out of it. You know, if you start with like 30 gold. Like, at the moment, I have um, 14, so. You know, I can trigger it at least four times to get like plus four four on two things. Do a shot phase. Oh, yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. I saw a lot of people in the SAP Discord saying that it was like overpowered now or something, but I don't know if they realize that it isn't permanent. Like, that would be insane scaling if it was like plus three attack on the two things next to it every turn, but it's. Yeah, it's, it's temporary, so. Am I on the test server? Yes, it should be in the title and stuff. He didn't react. Oh! Wait, did you guys hear an alert? Jay, thank you for the 10 months. I don't think I heard the alert. I don't know if I was talking over it or something. I messed with my alert settings recently. You heard it. Oh, God. Okay, I'll... <laughs> Alert's back. Yeah, so I set it up again earlier to see if I could fix it, and I think it should be working now. But then I also had to change some of my settings again just before the stream started, because it's been a long time since I did any, like, browser recording. And there's separate stuff. Because I've, like, segmented everything. Before, I used to have just, like, <laughs> like screen capture and desk desktop capture and my um, my mic. So it just, like, captured everything, and it was super simple. Now I've, like, divided it all up so I can tweak individual things. So I have, like, alerts, Chrome, uh, my game, my mouse. There's other things, like, full desktop and stuff. But, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to buy a banana because we want that on the team. Show me manta rays and macaques, please. I'll take another banana. <laughs> Emu, no. Also no manatee. Not interested. Uh, yeah, just take another one of these. That's fine. Send it again. Hoping to find a macaque soon. Okay, that went off everything. I can't tell if I just... I did reduce the volume a little bit. Because it sounded very loud when I did a test recording earlier. So I don't know if I was just, like, talking over it and literally didn't hear <laughs> thank you jay very appreciated let's go please more i want to hard roll but i also know it's um yeah a dumb play if it doesn't happen also avocado's back there was one patch they put out before this one and they had nerfed avocado back to plus two gold which i hated i'm very glad that it is regular avocado again uh, I'm going to freeze it, but I'm still rolling for manta rays and macaques, and I would love to find one this turn, please. Please. 
Oh god. Okay, well... Maybe I buy avocado, avocado just to spite my magpie. <laughs> yeah, take that. You get to do nothing now. Thank God Flankfish is a cap now. Yeah, they, <laughs> they've definitely pushed it into the ground. You know, it's still probably usable, but it's not, um... Yeah, the go-to thing anymore, I think. Uh, this one's probably going to die. I really wanted a Manta Ray thing build, but I don't know how much I can roll just to try and find that. You know, without it killing the run. There is a macaque. Thank you. Oh yeah, wait, Baboon's different as well now, but I think that's more of a level up thing. It's now a 1-2. But yeah, it spreads out its stats on level up. So instead of being like, you know, when you level it up, it goes to 2-4 and then 3-6 to, you know, one random thing from the current shop tier. Uh, yeah, now it just starts buffing multiple things from the current shop tier, which... Not a huge fan of. Basically just like the otter. Yeah. I don't love it though. I liked... I liked old baboon. And I don't even think it was bad. Like, I can't tell if they thought this was a... A buff or a nerf. It's just weird. The cac is now a different monkey now, right? Yeah, it summons a 12-12 orangutan. So, that's pretty cool. Would be good to put a banana on here as well now. I'm still looking for more of the same. I don't like any of this, though. Another Manta Ray. I'd love to play that separately, but I feel like that's a bad idea. So I'm just going to buy this and end my turn, I think. And, you know what? You can... I'm hoping that the Macaque summons first. If this somehow, like, intercepts the Macaque summon so we don't get anything, I'm going to be kind of upset. But I'm going to leave it at the back, and my thinking is this summons something. We get the guy, and then that dies, and then this jumps forward. Because Baboon was pretty good. I mean, I liked it, but that's just how the game goes. I like there being <laughs> good pets in the game sometimes. Oh, no. oh yes! Okay, didn't die. Still going. Don't know why they nerfed Baboon, but they kept banana scaling. I mean, to be fair, I don't know how they nerfed that. Because, like, this getting summoned as a 4-4 does make sense. And I say just wanted to make it not a monkey. So you couldn't, like, abuse it in any way. But it's, it's more fun this way. More like, hello. Keep looking. Oh, there we go. Uh, we have to do this. If we're going for a Manta Ray Macaque, like, this is long-term greed. But we need this to keep us alive. So, yeah. <laughs> Grizzly bear. Uh, I mean, it's better than the door head ant, at least. Don't mind throwing one of those in. Also, I think this is very good. And I kind of want to buy sell the Blue Ring Doctopus, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I do. Alright. Buy sell that, and we can save one gold. And send it like that, then. Okay, so now we're summoning a 24-24 with a banana. Like, that's, that's pretty strong. <laughs> very, very large. Yeah, and there is a nice addition as well. Definitely helps balance it out a bit. And I may just run the rest of the team like this, honestly. Like, I'd love to go double macaque or something, but I don't know if that's going to be achievable. I'd have to find a lot of these or a lot of chocolates. But yeah, I may just, like, force this to stay as it is. Hope it lives. My potato's the same. Good. Uh, love it. Catfish, no. Hmm. I probably do want to get pit bread on here. Because, like, it's a 24-24. Getting an extra 15 HP would probably be massive. I know Bird of Paradise would be amazing for this as well, but... <laughs> I want to have a build that is more macaque-based. I don't know. Maybe if I find more of them, I'll swap the bear out for it or something. It's definitely more, like, long-term. Okay, so I have one of those... I'm buying it. I want this. Alright, let's throw one of these on there as well. I feel like having a big snipe for the back is also very useful. So yeah, you do that. I'm not going anywhere. Kind of tempted to do that as well, but I think I'll roll it for now. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I might as well buy it now, right, if I'm going to keep it on the team. No reason to save gold otherwise. I'm just, like, freezing a slot for no reason. 
this tiger mechanic work? I assume so. Yeah, start the battle, so. It must work. How you doing? I'm doing okay, yay. How are you doing? Be like Meerkat giving perma stats and like plus two plus two to a pet is still underpowered. Like a worse starfish. It was definitely underpowered how it was. They could have buffed it in a lot of different ways and yeah, they just like completely changed it. I'm not sure. Like I can see this as uh, I can see this as being a good pet for super late game, maybe if you have a big money build. But yeah, I, I don't really care that much. <laughs> I'm pretty happy how I'm running through it all at the moment. Alright. Oh, let's, let's go. Come on, try and get this. I would also love to level that. I'm just going to end my turn instead of rolling, I think. Okay. Damn, this stats might get tested. It just doesn't feel right. I don't like investing in stuff that isn't permanent. Like, I'd much rather just have, like, weak permanent stats. Not that it was good how it was, but, you know. Okay, so this is the greed play. Because, you know, more money every turn. This is the play that will actually, like, potentially save us in a fight. The thing is, we're not scaling, so, like, I think we do need to try and win as soon as possible. So, I think that is definitely going on there. Uh, maybe we should have bought and sold that Blurring Doctopus. That probably would have been good instead of hard rolling for <laughs> more levels. Hey, love it. Uh, I could buy this and just, like, roll to the end of my turn. But if I used the Magpie... Yeah, no, that wouldn't work. Because I'd have to sell it before the end of the turn for the macaque, and that means it wouldn't trigger, so. Unless I just rolled all the way down, but then I wouldn't get to use my magpie, so yeah. We leave it. Uh, no. Still no. Freeze? No, buy. Definitely buy. Throw it on here. I want to see this thing to level 3 by the end. <laughs> if, if we can, that's our next turn. No grizzly, maybe? I like my grizzly. Is Grizzly or I should have gone for um, Bird of Paradise? Which would have also been great because we do have two money pets on the team. I don't know. I did them both quite a lot, honestly. Not sure if this is a known bug. But your PDF triggered when it got moved to the back with Onion. Ooh, that might be worth uh, testing out then. Because they changed its stats a little bit, but not its ability. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know though. A okay. I want to see this first. So we're putting that there first. It could have been a bear. It wasn't. <laughs> uh yeah, we just keep rolling. Definitely free. Oh wait, no, I don't keep rolling, because we have magpie. I hope I don't die, but other than that, I'm liking the team. The thing the macaque summons definitely got a lot stronger, because that's now it's gonna be like a Effectively nearly a 3650. Yeah, they're about. The cat can push enemies in front forwards. What? Oh no, I know I know it can shuffle them around, but I didn't know how it happened. I'm finally leaving this at the front. Uh what am I looking for beyond just like leveling the grizzly? Let's try a stoat. Maybe it'll give us something. Grizzly. Not a grizzly. Oh, Grizzlies! Excellent. We do not need Pterodons on this squad. Uh, I can maybe just, like, get rid of the Magpie. Or try and find something else for a potential second thing, because, like, we're basically done with the Magpie. We're probably done with this as well, but I kind of like having it on the team. This isn't going anywhere, but, yeah, let's have a little look. Well, <laughs> team of level threes. Got any level threes? That is a good question. I don't know if I have Macaque. I might have Manta Ray. Oh, this is the test server, so I don't know anyway. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Hold on. How do I see... Because there's a setting so you can see which pets you have, like, things for, right? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, but it's test server. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Click on achievements by the tier thing. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, no, I have all of these ones, but again, it's the test server, so who cares? I don't know what to do with this team, though, because the magpie isn't insane, but swapping out the magpie for another bear also isn't insane, because, I don't know. 
Is it like extra triggers for my big bear, which is probably a better thing to go for? Again, I know I could like buy a bird of paradise then roll pretty hard. I'm hoping to find a wolf. There we go. Alright, and honestly, we probably just like wolf and give it a tomato. I think that's not too bad. I'm going to be leaving it fairly far back, but yeah, all good. And let's just throw this on here as well. See if we can level it up. Okay. All right, show me. Show me a win. You can do it, team. Hmm. Very big. Hate that. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. All right, fair enough. They had scaling. They had like the same the same team, but scaling. Yeah, I should have taken the uh, thing before. And yes, I can't hear alerts. You guys might be able to hear them, but I can't. <laughs> Robot Dog, thank you for the 12 months. Doesn't feel like a year. It doesn't. It really doesn't. Uh, nine wins. Anyway, believe a thing. You can hear them. I'm glad you can, but I don't know why I can't. They used to always like play through OBS for me. And even this morning when I tested it, it's just every time I um, you know, triggered a test one, it would just play the audio in OBS as well so I could hear it twice. But now I'm not hearing anything. Has it been your stream anniversary anniversary already? I don't think so. Because I think I started on, like, the 2nd of February. So, like, it's approaching it. Oh, stream anniversary <laughs> doesn't work. It's because I changed out the emotes before the stream, because I set some Christmas ones up. I forget which things we have. You know, that's on stream anniversary. I don't have it. And I think I'm okay. My favorite... Hold on. Wait, did I do protection? Hold on. I'll try, I'll try and talk later. All right. That was six or more wins. So, yeah, we can do that. Stop protection. Six or more. Uh, yeah, it's been forever since I played that game. And my good memories are for, from playing with people. <laughs> I don't think I want to play solo zombies. It's your name. You got it. I mean, that's where I got the name from. Anyway. We go again. That was... Uh, yeah, these guys. I'm gonna turn this off. I don't really... Oh, but now they're all, like, grayed out. Oh, that's fine. Alright. Uh, I don't know what else to go for here. Because that was, like, the main thing I wanted to see. It may be cool going for a Meerkat game, but there isn't insane synergy for it. Like, you could maybe do some stuff with, like, Warthog, Cobra. Like, there's, there's something to that. You'd have to have a Bird of Paradise as well, and then you wouldn't really be able to fit on much, um... Extra gold to get extra triggers out of the meerkat, but I don't know. I think this is a solid opener. Alright, let's be the giggling lizards. Do you have the old emotes anywhere? Depends what you mean by old. Because I, I, I can only remember like five. I, I swapped out follower emotes. Because there was Christmas ones that Kalu made and they were old ones. So I've swapped those back. Other than that, I don't know. Your Prime's not letting you resub. I'm sorry to hear that. Fire Ant 2. Yeah, this is a few things that scale with attack. I think it is just those three, though. But yeah, so there is there is synergy. I just don't know how much I care. <laughs> right, I'd rather combine Chipmunks and then run Double Possum, I think. Save the rest. Will I be achievement hunting this stream? Uh, if I change back to the base game, then maybe. Well, if I change back to the base game, then definitely. But yeah, it depends if I end up playing on the test server like all day. All day being for two hours, but yeah, maybe we swap over and like a game or two. Gemma Shepard now gives 90% on attack and level 3. I know. Yeah, it's been a nice buff. Very solid. I never liked that it was like... I mean, this one's still 20 voice stuff. I can't remember what this one was, though. I was like... 10, 20, 30, or if it was like 20 something. Now it's a, not li a lot nicer though. I kind of want to try it, Lizard Tail. I mean, just like double cell possums for the stilt though, because that's fairly big. Let's do that. And then I'm going to do this. Don't hit that. Okay, cool. Uh, hmm. I don't really want to go for a. 
for a lizard thing here. I'm going to keep rolling. There's a lot of um, level up type things we could do. Those are both great. You know what? Let's just like sell this. Sell that, buy another one. Not insane. <laughs> a bit sad about it, but whatever. Probably going to end up selling this next turn anyway, because I don't want to combine the magpies yet. I want to save that for next turn. So I'd rather just have an extra magpie on my team to save the shop space. I'm Blue Note, hello. It was 2040-60? I thought so. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stack this for now. Just play another one of these and then like roll three times. So that will buy a cherry. Which I think is also fine. Give one pet the cherry perk, gain two trumpets on faint. Like this just isn't worth it. We'd be losing way too many stats because they they've nerfed this down to plus two trumpets instead of plus three. So I'm going to do one of these two, I think. I may throw it on the magpie first just because it's... <laughs> Probably going to stay on my team for the longest out of all of these things. What achievement are you going for? I'm not. We're on the test server. There are no achievements here. Or rather, like, I barely have any achievements, but I don't care about getting them. There was a glitch where Golden Retriever didn't summon when you didn't have any other pets left. Ooh. Vulture. Knockout. Activate faint ability of one nearest pet behind. Works one time per battle. I mean... It's worth taking, but it doesn't really do anything for me here. I also don't know whether I freeze lettuce, because right now we don't have any level 3s, and I don't know tier 3s. I don't know if we're actually going to buy any, though. Okay, huge. Sea lion, also huge. Uh, the sad part is, it, I'd have to run this in front of it. Yeah, so this would have to be like my backline thing to buff HP on here, but I think that's well worth it. Let's get rid of Chipmunk. Buy this. I'm going to leave these two, because I don't think I'm going to go for level 3 on either of them. I think I'm pretty happy where we are with that. But yeah, friends ahead, plus HP. So we're going to be buffing the HP of all of these. I'm hoping this can actually get a trade with that, but... Sorry. I'm hoping this can survive to get an extra trigger off the stilt. So I may throw this guy to the front. Came here to sub, and you got to go have fun, you know. Thanks for dropping by, Robodog. And thank you for a wonderful year. Very appreciated. Do generated trumpets not fly towards the counter now? I don't know. I have not been paying attention. Yeah, we don't need this. What do I want to roll for here, though? I wouldn't mind to level up. Just buying loads of avocados would be fine as well. <laughs> there are meerkats, which I did say was like a maybe. Yeah, do we try a meerkat game? Oh, sure. Let's try a meerkat game. We can, like, trigger this, like, four times as well. Yeah, we don't need that, though. Weasel would be cool, but we already have too much like, stuff on this team. <laughs> you know what? You're already so big and close to getting a level up that we might as well do that. I shouldn't have rolled. I should have let that save the last one. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with the meerkat, though. Maybe send it on these. It's not amazing, but I feel like it's better than running between those two. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, so we got plus 4-4 four, four on these two. Actually, might have made a difference in this fight. Wait, oh, you're saying... <laughs> I was going to say, I had the egg cat. I think they're all of eight bullet. I think? Alright. Uh, things I want. I do want bananas. I think we want one of those on there. Don't care about any of the rest of this. I may go for the meerkats. I think this is fine to take as well. And then I'm just going to end the turn. Honestly, still pretty happy with this team. I just want to find these level ups within the next couple of turns. So we can maybe get some early good tier sixes. If we do that, then we can start like scaling them immediately. I also feel like that chocolate maybe wasn't <laughs> insane value for them. They had very large things that just like built themselves at the start of combat. Uh, buying these macaques would also be amazing. Just like selling meerkat sea lion, hoping for a tier 2 here. Level 2. You know, that would be insane. Instead, I'm going to leave it and just <laughs> look for an avocado or something. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this is it. I don't really care. We just need to get like more of these. Uh, banana may keep us alive. Okay. Okay, still going then. Chocolate cake, bed cake into another chocolate cake. 
I'm losing. Oh, you mean he lost all the stats because he chalked it to the best fish into it. Yeah. <laughs> Something definitely seemed off. Like, I saw they wasted a lot of stats there. I don't know if it was worth it for the fairly, you know, somewhat slight trumpet gain. Uh, Nyala is definitely approaching the point where it's better than the stilts. Like, its ability is better, but this thing has so many stats already. Can maybe get rid of the sea lion because I don't really care about it. Like, maybe do something like that. This thing is just not going to trigger. Like, I think I'm okay with getting rid of that soon. Uh, start by buying this. And we have a bird of paradise. That is insane. Alright, so you're just done. I'm going to take you out. You're probably not going to trigger. Don't really care about having you on the team. I need to have two slots open. Uh, I wanted to have Meerkat on the team, so I'm going to try and keep it. I think I may sell the Nyala, though. Even though I just bought it, because... Because <laughs> of reasons. Uh, that is definitely happening. And I'm going to leave my turn here, maybe. Hold on, if I sell this, I get to five. I need six. Then I can buy sell this, and I think that does get me, like, well over. But I wouldn't be buffing things that I care about, so I'm going to wait on that, I think. So, I can't really have that at the back either. This is... This is awkward. I'm going to send it like this, then. How's that going to go? They have an early bear. Oh, no. Yeah, well, this is... A win. Very close. Very, very close. Oh my god, this is insane. <laughs> uh, do I sell the stilt as well? I, I want to mess around because there's like so many good things here. Having the Manta Ray just on the team could be pretty good. But then I'm running like a full money build and I'm not actually using the Meerkat ability very well. But you can get so many triggers for the Meerkat by like buy selling the Oysters. And I'm going to buy, the, buy sell them all individually. I don't care about them. Um, you know, getting at level 2. Howling Cow would be awesome to scale as well. Like that, that'd be a pretty easy way to win, I think. Which I may do. Like we do need something strong on the team. Like we can get rid of the Magpie. There's some value to it, but it's not really necessary. Maybe better just have like something like this. Because it's actual gold every turn. Hmm. Let's get rid of the stilt to start. I am gonna take this. Oh, hold on. How close are you? Yeah, we can buy this first. <laughs> Grizzly Bear, also very good. Yeah, we're probably not going to use the Meerkat properly. Next Baraz, hello. Welcome. Yeah, I want to have an open slot for a while. I think I I'm going to ditch the Magpie and then, like, double buy these. And then I can't have the Manta Ray either, and it's all, uh, all a thing. I don't know, let's just do it. Alright. Mm. By the way, if this was, um... The main game, I may have gone for the Oyster Achievement here, but it is not, so I'm just going to ignore that. And yeah, we're not going to go for the Manta Ray. Come on. There's a Fire Ant, which has, like, some synergy, but yeah, I think I'm alright without. Uh, we're going to want a Potato. I'm going to leave it anyway, though. Alright, Blurring Doctors, pretty good buy sell. And what, you here? I mean, we should get... Unless something dies to a snipe, then we should get a bear trigger. But it's still not insane. Dude. Look at that meerkat buff. That was actually huge. You can definitely do things with that, then. Like, a, a big part of that was that we found three oysters. So we kind of doubled the amount we spent that turn. Oh, yeah. This is why I like having an open slot, because... <laughs> Buy selling is so nice. I like it at least. I would like to roll though, because I'd love to find some uh, chocolates and stuff for everything. Warthog. Oh, I really want to buy a Warthog. But it's so dumb. We're <laughs> going to scale up so much, we don't really need it. Uh, get rid of the bear, maybe. The bear's cool, but I kind of want to show off the synergy more. And again, we don't have um, actual gold stuff, so 
This will only be triggering one time per turn if I don't buy sell. So yeah, maybe get rid of the bear, buy warthog, start buy selling other things like stoat. Might be able to get more XP for these things. These aren't good plays, by the way. This is me trying to show off the meerkat, because I do want something that has some synergy with it. Uh, no. <laughs> not you. Okay, another stoat. Why not? Paradon. Keep it going. <laughs> Dude, there's actually like loads of like, I'm finding like non-stop good buy-sell things. We're not really getting great value out of it. Sounds pretty good. Uh, but yeah, no, that was actually pretty nice. I could buy sell something else to get this going. And it actually might be worth it, because then we get an extra trigger this turn. Yeah, let's do that, alright. There we go. Or did I... Okay, I definitely miscalculated something there. My mistake. Uh, I will leave everything where it is, though, and I can't wait to see how good this makeout is going to be. Because <laughs> we bought and sold a lot. Alright, how much attack is this going to go to? 15 to 37. That's pretty significant. <laughs> like, very big. Yeah, yeah. Leveling that, having a pterodon or something could be insane. Uh, we roll this. I still don't care enough about, like, getting pit bread and stuff. I just want levels on my boys. Please. I mean, do I bother? Do I bother trying to level this? It's going to be so hard to level up, and I kind of need to level everything else on my team. And, you know, it doesn't really benefit us yet. Yeah, we're going to roll past that. Uh, you, yeah. You're staying on the team, so I'm fine doing that. So I'm just going to leave that separately for now, I think. Ricardo and stuff. They're fine, but again, we're like, approaching the end of the game. I'll freeze this, because I'm probably going to combine my Birds of Paradise next turn. I think a Silver Fox would have been awesome, but it's like way too late for it. Yeah, I think we sap that on there next turn, buy, sell this, and then we hope to find a level for... Island Cat probably matters the most, because if this is the last turn of Bird of Paradise scaling, then we don't really need it. Right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's a draw, but yeah. Coconut to six pet could be good too. I mean, it, it could, but I've got too many things. Like, I wanted the Meerkat on the team. We're not going to be able to get to, like, 50-50 before the end of the game, so I, don't, I doubt I'm going to end up selling the Bird of Paradise. I like having the slot open because we don't have any money generation. Uh, other reasons that I can't remember, so I should properly think of at the moment. <laughs> hey, that's what we like to see. Uh, buy, sell this, buy the other one, yeah. Alright. Now, is it better to play these mm. separately? Probably not, right? What's that thing's leveled up ability? Yeah, two trumpets for every two HP. So it literally doubles the efficiency of its ability. So I definitely slap them together to get, like, the max value. And <laughs> there's more. You know what? Sure. If we can get that to level three, then why not? It's probably not going to be worth it, actually. <laughs> nah, we try and level Bird of Paradise and Warthog. This thing, I don't know. If if we do it next turn, then there's maybe some, like, value to it. But otherwise, we're probably just going to be using the Bird of Paradise to scale everything up. And that would almost be 50-50 by itself. So, uh, yeah, gonna leave that. Oh, to slot in is the last pet next to the cat. I mean, sure, but it's not one of the pets that specifically needs attack. It does need attack, and there are, that's a decent way to do it. <laughs> Coolerton, hello. Welcome back. Kind of want to freeze a pterodon. That's a pretty solid final thing to end on for this. Let's do that. Alright, you stay frozen. Uh, I do not want to buy these. I'm trusting that this is our last turn. Oh? Maybe buy sell stoat too? Yeah, yeah, because then we can buy sell stoat. Assuming it's something we don't want, we can still sell it and then buy a warthog pterodon. And if it is something we want, then that's great as well. <laughs> Cobra would be amazing. It is currently a 1 1, and it's only going to get buffed to it like a 3 3. So, uh, yeah, we ditch that. I'm just going to. Buy this first, because otherwise we lose stats, and then I buy this one. Alright, so Pterodon is going to get an extra trigger for the Warthog. Sadly, it's still level 1, but still kind of cool. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with where everything is. Even though we basically don't have any equipment. 
Like, I could have been picking up pizza bread at some point. I don't know if I've seen many tomatoes, though. Yeah, no, we're fine. Very solid run. That was nice. Meerkat actually kind of good. <laughs> Alright. There we go. We got a win. And I didn't get a snack. No. Well, I got snacks, but I didn't get an item. Okay. It's like 10-2. I'm thinking one more here, and then I go to the base game and do some achievement hunting. Because... I'm not really sure what what else there is to check out here. Things that like really matter anyway. Yeah, yeah, let's go one more time. What's new? Uh, it would take too long to go over everything, but the main ones are that Macak now summons a larger orangutan instead of a, an 8-8 gorilla. Uh, Meerkat is very different. It's now yeah, start a battle, give adjacent friends plus one attack for every three gold you spent. Which is the run we just did. I went for a like Manta Ray Macaque build before that. And then there's a load of stat changes, like Lizard, Sea Turtle, I don't know, <laughs> Poison Dark Frog. Can't remember if there's any other big ones. This has been buffed a little bit. It's now like 30, 60, 90, up from 20, 40, 60. Lots of thanks. And see you later, Civil. Thanks for coming by. Is Vlobby's on the test server? No, I'm going to be changing to the... You know, regular Steam version, literally after this run, I think. I just wanted to go to the test server to check out the changes. Some of them seem pretty interesting. Oh yeah, and this only triggers once now, the Soap Moth, I think. I think. Uh, I kind of want to just like... No, we can get one roll. I can roll once and then buy something, and then we can end the turn. And <laughs> I love both of these. Uh, Hold on. Maybe I buy Magpie, because, like, we're at five hearts, so I can afford a loss, and it won't cost me anything. But also, I'd be buying this next turn anyway, so maybe I... Oh, no, yeah, okay, we can do this then. So we only save one gold, but I want to buy this at the start of next turn anyway. I'd be stronger if I combined Magpies, and yeah, we're only going to have one gold anyway, so what am I doing? This is fine. I'm losing my mind trying to optimize. Like, <laughs> My point is, I could lose this turn, and it wouldn't cost me anything. So I was trying to be like, oh, save as much money as possible with more magpies for worse stats. But yeah, it turns out that didn't really help, so it was all good. So I'm twice now instead of thrice. Indeed. Baboon. Solid. Surgeon fish. Uh, care less about it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think I made like leave all of this and we just roll for a tier two so my baboon can start buffing something. Kind of tempted to buy the possum, though, because if we get, like, anything with a faint ability, we could sell everything to have a super massive tier 2. Like, there's stilt, there is squid, but I probably wouldn't do squid. There's sea urchin. That's not a lot of things. Nah, we'll leave that, because I could always just buy an apple if I really need. Uh, gazelle, no, we don't have money. I also don't love penguin. Uh, yeah, no, I don't love penguin. I'd happy to be happy to just roll. And lizard. You know what? Let's try lizard. We'll try a lizard build. <laughs> Emphasis on the word try, because I don't know if it's actually going to be any good. Because lizard has had a slight buff. Uh, sea turtle has had a slight buff. There are a couple of things there. Hi, Ed. Hello. Oh, Cybern, I saw you. It was you. Stoat, nah. It, it'd have to be a lizard for me to care. I also don't care about leveling this again. I may buy sell penguin, though. Because if it hits any of these three, it's kind of cool. Wowie. <laughs> I'm selling this before the end of the turn, by the way. Like, I don't want it stealing buffs. Uh, this, though. This I like a lot. I think I'm just going to throw this on here and buy that next turn. If I play it in a separate slot, then it may eat the baboon buff, and then it's just wasted. I'd rather just have super big lizard at the moment. Save one gold. No idea when I'm going to sell this possum or if I'm going to sell it to get an ability. <laughs> Not my goofy team I put in. It's too late. It's on the internet now. Forever. I need to like check out the names more. See if I can like recognize things. I feel like I don't pay enough attention a lot of the time. 
Uh, so like, that's just like a 7-7. Seven, seven. Like, that's very solid, and I think that is decent reason to sell the possum. I may run like double baboon for a bit and let them buff each other. I'd love for them to buff something else, but like... <laughs> Why not, right? Uh, I kind of want to do this, but there's no reason to keep this for like the whole game. Just buff each other. I'm going to keep rolling. Or at least roll once. Okay. I'm also going to put this here. I don't know if there's anything that they can do that might screw up my order if I leave this at the second position. Like, if they somehow, you know, like, kill my slug and then make this I don't know, hurt and summon something behind it or something, then that'd be awful. This is amazing. <laughs> Big turn five lizard is amazing. Dude, Surgeon Fish actually would be incredible here as well. Buying lettuce is just, like, more stats for these. I'd rather roll for any of these again. No. Also refuse to buy apples. I will take this. I will definitely take another one, and then I'll roll one more time. I do wish I had gone for the sea turtles, honestly, but... Yeah, we can just leave that, I think. Just, just keep buffing each other, I guess. That's not good value. They're going to get slapped together eventually. And at that point, we're, like, you know, wasting half of the stats that we buffed them with. But we can make it through. No. Oh. They wasted, like, two summons. That was a mean fight. Okay, sea lion. Uh, no. <laughs> Just no, I don't think I care. Like, the scaling's weak. I don't know what I'm looking for, but it's not that. Alright, oh, slug level up. Instant. Cockatoo, give three faint friends plus two plus one. We only have one faint friend, and I don't know if that's worth the buy sell. Like, combined air buy sell. I think I'd rather keep them separate. So, yeah, we're going to keep rolling that. Manatee's almost tempting. <laughs> almost, but I really wouldn't want to getting buffed by the uh, by you, so we'll leave that. Let's just send it like this. There we go. We're going to have a very big slug. We can find synergy for it later. <laughs> oh, yeah, I said I might try the poison dart frog. Wait, I should try that. Also, there is a slot. Those stuff. You always want to use a sea lion, but never want. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, I feel that. Uh, I mean, I'm buying the baboon. That is definitely happening. I guess I just like buy all three. Like buy avocado, buy slug, roll once, and then probably leave it. Like this is big enough that I'm probably not getting rid of it. At least. Nowhere soon. Like, this thing has been having so many buffs. That's very solid. <laughs> How dare you beat this stuff? I'm sorry, okay? If there was a concede button, I'd do it. This run is nowhere near more important than a stop. I'm a baboon? Hey, please. Baboons have feelings, okay? And they don't like being cool baboons. I should do a poison dart frog build. That's, we said we'd do that. <laughs> now we let's start here. Gem and Shepherd. <laughs> it's all interesting. Grizzly bear. Oh my god. Okay, well I'm probably letting this buff a white whale this turn. Haha. <laughs> I, I may just sell the lizard though. It's cool, but out of everything I have here, this thing is actual. But again, it sucks, because it only hits one thing. I keep forgetting. It hits two things from tier 5 now, so... Yeah, it's only doing a plus 1, plus 2 to this. It's not doing a plus 2, plus 4. So this actually isn't incredible. I'm going to keep it, because, you know, in two turns time, we're probably having both of these. I do think I need to buy the Grizzly as well. Oh, let's just get rid of the Baboon. This scaling is not it. All right. Probably going to leave the German Shepherd as well, because we, we don't have scaling yet, and... Yeah, we don't have scaling yet. I'd much rather just find things for the things I already have. Uh, there are a lot of amazing things here. I think we start with this. Tempted to freeze an avocado. It wouldn't be terrible, but... I don't know. I think I roll for chocolate a bit next turn. Would definitely help out a lot. And yeah, let's send it. At most, Baron gets two triggers per battle now. 
I mean, it depends if things get multiple hits in. Like, that one slug got three hits in by itself. And then this one got two hits in. Yeah, see? How <laughs> can we serve a full team? Pretty good. Is Bear still OP? Uh, I'd say no. It actually got a buff since the... Well, <laughs> since now. It used to be a 6-6. Six, six. Now it's a 6-8. But I don't think it's OP, but I still think it's pretty strong. Like, if it's a late game team and you have, like, a lot of... Well, not late game team, but if you have either super spammy summons or very big units, then it usually gets, like, two sets of triggers off, which can be run deciding. I don't want to buy that, but let's take an avocado. Avocado and, like, roll three times. Love it. Uh, <laughs> love it, I guess. I don't want to get rid of this slug. He's already, like, part of the family. I should have been looking for onion, though. Because that was the whole point of the dart frog. Like, it doesn't do too much here, because, again, it'd throw it behind the grizzly. But I wanted to see if it would get an extra trigger. Are we okay here? No. Kind of close, but no. I just need to level this guy. It's strong like a tier 6 now. Yeah. Hey. One more bear. No. Alright, I'm going to leave this slug frozen, I think. <laughs> I almost want to do that, but I don't think the Liz is along for this world. I think I'll leave that behind. Uh, no. Oh, okay, whatever. We'll just buy it then. Dude, so many. There are also now German Shepherds, but again, there isn't a good way to scale them in a team like this. I'm just gonna leave it. Maybe you should have uh, frozen the banana, though, because I think next turn I sell... I sell Lizard by White Whale and probably feed it one of the slugs. <laughs> Welcome back, Seth. What does Frog do I Fogor? It is a sniper, but only for things directly in front of it. So, friend ahead feints deal 6 damage. It starts at 3 damage, though. This is only because it's level 2. Yeah, gonna get rid of that. Taking one of these. Uh, yes, we have a banana. Very nice. You have now eaten a slug. I now don't have my level up, but I don't really care. And I don't want to buy Pit of Bread for this. He needs... Give one pet the onion perk. Move to the back when in front once. Let's try it. If that does give it an extra snipe, I want to see it. Obviously, it would mean one extra snipe because it would be behind the grizzly. But that also means one notch off the grizzly's trigger. But if it actually gets an extra snipe just by jumping back, that'd be kind of cool. It did not. <laughs> okay. At least we survived the fight. You should get emu. It would get you more triggers. I mean, it would get me more triggers from the poison dart frog, maybe. But... That's kind of the weak link on my team at the moment. And probably the thing that I should be looking to get rid of. Because it's like... Investing in the bear, having more, like... Summony, snipey things. That's probably the way I need to go. Because like, I can sell this, buy, sell that, and then try and find, like, another slug or something, and that'd be pretty good. Have you tried Creatures of Ether? No, I don't think I've heard of it. It reminds me of Rivals of Ether. Which is <laughs> kind of like a PC Smash clone. That's kind of fun. Uh, yeah, I can't tell. Like, this is doing... It's doing 6 damage 3 times. Like, that's almost 20 damage, and its own size isn't terrible. Let's just roll. I may end up selling it, and yeah, I think... Oh, I also just rolled my, my potato. That's not what I wanted. Potato, thank you. Okay, what I need to do next turn is sell this, buy this, and then we roll hard to try and find another wolf or slug to feed it. Because, like, I can leave that there, and it's still pretty good. And you know what? It's even better. Why didn't I do that last time? That's an extra trigger. Because this has a slug inside it. Wait. Wait. It depends where the monkey goes. If the monkey goes back, then it is kind of bad. In which case... Oops. And never mind. <laughs> they sniped me or something, and now my ult is terrible. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be okay here. I think Poison Dark Frog should go back to 4, 8, 12. Yeah, it's very weak as it currently is. Like, I think it's... I want to say it's fair, because it's like a tier 4, but... Tier 4s usually scale better than that towards the end of the game. Like, I don't know, like, Slug is definitely an endgame pet, so is Vaquitter. Slug Antelope can be, but it's not really used that way. 
Cuttlefish is. Uh, Falcon can be if you have scaling. Manta Ray and Macaque definitely are. So it's, it's one of the weaker ones when you get super into the late game. But who knows? Because a lot of these, they're only good in the late game if you have scaling. But they kind of enable scaling, so, you know. Why did they get rid of the trumpet animations? I still haven't been looking at that. Ugh. And I refuse to do this. I'm going to buy the white whale, put chocolate on my grizzly bear. And if we happen to lose, then we have, like, multiple turns to try and get this thing leveled up. Kind of tempted to freeze uh, pitch bread for this, though, but... We have, like, three rolls to try and find different better food. Oyster, nah. Uh, no. I could just, like, freeze one of these so I can guarantee one of these goes into that white whale. I think I'd rather just roll. Roll once, buy the banana, let it eat literally anything. And it is this. All right, sure. <laughs> and you know what? I'm freezing the banana again. If we do find a, an actual thing to feed it, then I probably want it to have a banana. Okay. Am I frontline guy too? He definitely needs something else. It's me, but... Hmm. Weaker. <laughs> it's me, but weaker. Now that we've killed a bear, at least. Also, this thing probably needs... Oh, we won! I forgot we were on nine trophies. And we got a captain hat. Not bad. Still 30 things I need to unlock here. Okay. All right, let me pay, out, pay that out then. One too quick. I think I like locked it in my head that I was like, I want to lose, therefore I will lose and the game will continue. And yeah. <laughs> I did not. So yeah, we didn't get to go all the way there. Level 2 German Shepherd kind of popped off though. Yeah, it can be really good. And I do want to try it because like the fact this, you know, 30, 60, 90 is quite nice. But I've never had... German Shepherd in a build that I also had scaling in. Because I feel like the best scaling in this pack is with Bird of Paradise. You could also use the monkey with, um, you know, Banana Tea. But then you'd have to run this at the front, and then while you're scaling it, you're getting zero value. And that's, yeah, massive mess. So, I don't know. 